Welcome to this First Look Map Tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am on Vorpommern Rugen. This is a new ish map, it's come out a couple of days ago from Atza VR. This is the second map, well, it's on consoles, it's the second map, I think, by Atza VR. The first one was New Bartels Hagen. Um, he may have done, I say he, could be a she. Um, may have done others on PC, but as far as I know, this is the second one on console. I'm going to do a quick first look map tour around this. Um, it's not dissimilar. Well, I've quit looking the in the map actually. It's not dissimilar to New Basel Sagen in the fact that it's. Um, I assume it's a German map. It's quite flat. There aren't a lot of fields. There's a lot of detail. Um, well, I say there's a lot of detail. It's an odd one. There's a lot of detail in places, and in other areas there doesn't seem to be. It's a bit of a kind of quandary for me. I'm I'm in my head trying to process everything that's happening. There are 13, 14 fields on this map, and you start with two. You start with field 13, and which is just uh, down here, and you start with field seven, which is just up here. Those are the two fields you start with. The smallest field on the map is probably field 11, maybe field 1. Not much in it between the two, I don't think. Um, and the others, it's again, it's deceptive. It's like New Bartles and They look small, but they're quite big because there aren't many. I want to take that back out on field 8. Look down there, tiny little field 8. Um, prices are quite high on some of them, but only because they're big fields. But we'll go around, we'll have a look, and we'll see what's what. Um, what do we get equipment wise at the start you start with lots of red um, we've got a case 1455 a massive Ferguson 7700 I think it's 7719 I think I had a quick whiz round and a look at what was what which is a nice tractor to start with I like that it's good size lots of options uh, Manning 2 MLT 840 telehandler with forks the New Holland TC 590 combine harvester you get a corn header and you get a standard header with that which is a nice touch having both right off the start metal tech trailer agro liner trailer cedar sprayer mower and pickup and a water container the joskin aquatrans 7300 um not a huge amount to be fair not a lot of equipment but enough to kind of get you started so back out of there and we start i'm at the moment facing south down the map this way is east this way is west and that way is north and this is our house i assume because that's where we start got someone living right next door as well now what i mean by some of the text is very very good you've got a lot of the like the I don't know if they're stock roads, stock pavements, I'm not too sure. I'm, like I say, I've said before, I'm, I'm not a map maker or creator. And I don't know what goes into a lot. And I know some people had their own touches. But you've got all the cracks in the pavement. You've got all the weeds and things by the side and bushes. And lots of nice textures, lots of nice detail. But then when you get out to some of the field and grass areas, some of the grass areas seem a little bit... I know it sounds awful to say, a bit bland. There, there doesn't seem to be a lot... I know when you're getting close you can see there's different colours there in the different plants that are growing but I don't know to me it just seems a little bit bland but you'll see when we go around that'll be your decision to make what do you think about it now our main farm is directly here just south of this little road that we live on and we're going to the yard first and then we'll gradually work around the map nice set of incredibly rusty gates though but get those open on this map you've got about five or six foresty areas like this not tight packed in forest but like wooded areas dotted around the map so there's a bit of forestry to do if you want to do it it is incredibly i say incredible it's fairly flat there are a couple of little uh, little undulations here and there but it's not by any means a hilly map um i think we've got our seed and fertilizer point i haven't checked that yet um, but over here as we come into the yard we have got our vehicle shop it's in our own yard don't go to a shop to get anything it's right here when we access it when we come out we end up actually inside the barn which is an interesting one just inside here which is the vehicle customization point I'm assuming is this side could be that side but it's just here the vehicle customization point 
and yeah so I think that's that's the fertilizer isn't it yes um, so we've got our Manitou just parked up here none of these doors open on this barn here but these ones all do this side as do the ones on that side and we've got bits of machinery dotted around all over the place fuel is just here our diesel let's open up one of these quite fair sized storage areas again with double doors um, which is quite handy for drive through vehicles ones that are difficult to manoeuvre plenty of space in here um, through this side oh yeah we've got here oh yeah fertilizer sprayer but we've got light switches and nice roller door very nice indeed as we come around the corner open shelter with our Massey Ferguson the trailers the pickup and the um, New Holland combine harvester if I come around the back of here I'm trying to think what was around the back of that was there anything no the silos aren't here the silos are elsewhere on the map so that's kind of the main yard and it's quite a large area but then to be fair because the vehicle shop bit is there if you buy anything it spawns here when you buy it this is where it appears so I suppose you do need a fair sized bit of ground to be able to do that anyway let's open up these doors here sliding ones again more storage nothing else in here that I'm aware of light switch no shortage of light so that's about it for the main yard um, just over there there's a little lake I say lake pond I suppose and the other side of it is the chickens we we'll might go past that in a bit later on um, I, I get the feeling that when I do more and more of these first look map tours oh yeah the, the uh, case and the mower I keep saying this every time I do one is I don't really use these the disc bind but it's a nice mower very versatile bit of kit anyway I digress uh, yeah um, the more first look map tours I do I I start to then think do I show the chickens do I show because once you've seen one but then I suppose at the end of the day if you don't know this map or you don't know where it is it's nice to kind of get your bearings and work out where things are so just outside of the main yard here if I head a little bit south only a tiny bit around here we've got our dairy farm portion of the map the barn with our bunker silo manure and slurry tanks feed troughs and water troughs around the sides and I believe I need to check this this one here is your buy and sell point for your cows or your drop off point if you're going to buy them from the livestock market and transport them here yourself I believe the gate opens it does so you can get in there and you can cut the grass if you want or if you want a bit of realism when you're unloading I'm not sure I'm in the right place there we go to close that off so again dairy barn is a pretty stock dairy barn there's nothing unusual or untoward or peculiar about it nothing that's going to catch you off guard feed trough around the front here as well it does look like it needs a bit of a bit of weeding in here it looks like it's been left unattended for quite some time now as I was saying about field sizes this is field four directly beneath us I say beneath us to the south of the dairy farm and that's going for 928,000 wow that's a lot of money and bearing in mind the job that they're offering is the premium integral 2 slurry injector spreader which is very big very wide and normally makes very light work of fields 29 minutes 43 to do that field gives you some idea of the size and the price they're going to pay you 11,000 so yeah there aren't many fields but they're a fair size anyway next thing then that's the cows where are we in relation to everything else so we are on the kind of central line across what I am going to do is get into probably the pickup and we'll do an anti-clockwise route around taking as much as we can on the way there are two placeable um, areas on this map and as it was on New Bartleshagen you have to buy them 
you can't just place your vehicles it's not just like a big concrete area you have to buy the placeable area we'll get to that later on because there's something i want to it's not a big thing but something i want to say about that so off to the pickup this is probably what i mean i don't know i think i do just got spoilt with certain grasses on certain maps at the end of the day it's grass it's you know it, it just is what it is but i just thought it seemed a little bit just a little bit bland i don't know i suppose grasses a bit bland isn't it really when you see a big expanse of it but i don't know oh yeah the back of this slurry uh the slurry the silage bunker silo we've got our water tank and i think there's a little water fountain or refilling point just here for our water and this is the little road we started on initially that's our house just there so pick up Right, so I'm going to come out just this side and onto the little main track. This map has got kind of one main route round, a kind of a central section that runs down the middle with a few bits on. So we'll do the loop round the outside first. I might cut out some of the journey bits, kind of skip to the next place, but I will try and get in at least some of it. I should have shut those gates really. I think it's because as you do a bit of driving around you kind of you pull back a little bit and I don't know I don't know maybe it's just, just different colour grass I don't know why I'm hung up on the grass it's not a big deal is it um, the chickens are just over there that little house there actually you know what I'm just going about let's kind of look just around the corner here your chickens are here this little house just there the water, I believe, I haven't checked it. I should have really got the Aquatrans and tried it. I believe all the little ponds and lakes distributed around the map is free water. But we're going to head north now, up the eastern side of the map. And you get some idea of the size of the fields by driving around them. And you also get an idea of how flat the map is. There are a couple of little hilly bits, but not really, you know, what you consider on some maps where your vehicle really struggles to get up a hill there's none of that really on here another one of the wooded areas just off to the right there so anywhere you see on the mini map where you've got these sort of darker brown shaded areas those are your foresty areas oh nearly missed it just turn in here you will certainly have no shortage of grass to cut. That won't be an issue. Here is your um, wool cell point. I believe it's the wool cell point. Just here. I will check on the main map. We are... Yes. Vola, is it? How do you say it? Vola Vakalf. So that's your wool cell point. Your spinnery for all intents and purposes. Zoom back out of there. And fairly quickly, we're almost up in the northeast corner of the map. When we get up to here, I'm not going to go right into the corner. It's just a field boundary with some more uh, grassland. I'm going to take a left. We'll head towards the placeable area and carry on on our anti-clockwise route around the map. So, back into the pickup. I think the uh, all the different buildings are fairly kind of stock. Um, and again, I don't want to... I'm not... You know, criticizing or putting down modders, or you know, I wish I could go on and create a map of my own that you know I and other people could play on, and I have some idea of what goes into it from speaking to and picking the brains of Alien Jim, who's brought out a couple of phenomenal maps lately with Sussex Farm and Spectacle Island. So I, I have some idea, although I haven't actually done it myself. It's no mean feat to do, so it's hard and quite harsh to judge a map and say well it's a bit this it's a bit boring it's a bit plain it's a bit flat or you know it needs a bit of this it needs a bit of that this is someone's hard work and a lot's gone into this i like the open feel of it i like the fact i do i, I don't there's nothing wrong with a flat map at all it makes it a lot easier for transporting equipment around and that kind of thing like i say there are some undulations there's little you know bumps and bits that you you want and it's the fields are big if you like doing big fields um this is a good map to do it on. So, placeable area. So, um, as we get to the placeable point on the map, um, this is, so having just said that, I don't want to criticise, 
th this was on New Battles Hagen was this concept of you have an area for your place balls and you pay for it. And as I recall on New Battles Hagen it wasn't too expensive. That said on this one, um, if I go on this, it's 132,000. Now I get it, it's 1.6 hectares, which is kind of, as a field size, that's pretty good, but you can't use it as a field. I suppose I'll take the here, I don't know if you could plough through that or not, I suppose maybe you could, but as a placeable area, that just seems a bit steep to me, I don't know. Um, it's a small thing, isn't it? It's a small complaint, just seems quite expensive for a placeable area. It's a nice big size, I like the fact you've got grass bits in the middle, it kind of gives you option to put barns and silos and bits and bobs down that you want, which is a nice touch, just seems a little bit pricey. Um, anyway, heading west, we are going across the top of the map, and then we'll be heading down the western edge of the map. Again, I'm going to cut in a little bit here, that road just goes off to the map edge. <coughs> big grass expanse over to this side. Like I say, there are a lot of very big grass areas, so at the end of the day you can plough those as well. Probably double the amount of fields there are on the map just by ploughing out all the grass areas. There's another one here on the right-hand side. Wouldn't be a small field, I say, small-ish field, but be handy for anything you want. Um, so, cutting out here to the right, we're coming down the western side-ish. We've got another one of these woodland areas on the left-hand side here. On the right-hand side here, we have got a couple of cell points coming up. So, if we just go around here, I'll stop. We'll have a quick look on the main map. This one here is the... Oh, I have to pronounce it right. Getrider. Getrider AG. That's the top one. So look at the prices across the top. That's that one. Interestingly enough, though, sunflower and oilseed rape don't get sold there. You've got a power oil sell point, which is quite cool, because the sunflower oil and the oilseed rape are used a lot for, for production of other, dip, you know, other things, obviously oils and that kind of thing. So there's a separate sell point for those. Um, I, I kind of like that. It's a good idea. Um, so that's the sell point there. That's your main sell point. And this little barn here, this is your sell point for, I believe, your root crops. So sugar beet and potatoes. If I can get the right position, there we go. You've got your hazard markings just here. This is your sell point for your root crops tucked away in this little barn just here. Very nice. Very nice. Right. Moving swiftly on. If I just remember to start the engine, of course. And we'll come back to the middle of the map in a moment. Back out onto the kind of main loop round. So as we're coming south, if I carry on straight on this track rather than take the road round the side there, we come to the next of our animals. And this is your sheep pen. Just here is your buy and sell point or your unload point for your sheep. Your feed troughs, I believe around that side over there. And your wall pallet spawn point is just there. There we go. Just here and just here. It's a nice size um, sheep pen actually. Some of them can be quite small. I suppose it depends on the size of the map, but that's not a bad size one. And if I, um, shall I walk through or drive through? I'll drive across. It doesn't mean driving across the grass, but I'm sure that will be fine. I haven't come across any gold nuggets yet, so I don't know if there are gold nuggets on this map. I Most maps do have them now. That's not to say that they all do. So this one might not, but I assumed it had. And like I say, you've got these wide open expanses, and then you've got all this lovely detail here great water effects all the weeds and various different things in it it's almost like it was just a hollow in the ground which is over time has just become a little pond really especially with the tree kind of growing in the middle of it but um yeah lovely lovely very very nice so we come across diagonally just here if you go by the roadway you have to go kind of quite a long way around the outside and there's a road that runs down the middle which I'll show you on the main map. So if you come around this kind of outside loop the way I've just come, I've come across here and done the sheep and then I've driven across the grass here to the pigs. You would, if you're going by road, come down this kind of middle road 
almost like a middle road um, down this side here we're going to come back to that later on we're going to finish off kind of there I think if I'm judging this about right I think that's what we're going to end up doing so anyway yes pigs just off here to the right pig buy and sell point just here feed areas one there I think there's one's around the side I think this is kind of standard ish pig enclosure pig pen the straw I believe gets put in over this side here because it's just here and you've got the hazard markings just there and there so that's for your straw and you've got your manure bit here and you've got rather than just one of the little floor kind of placeables you've got an actually a slurry pit you're going to need a lot of pigs to fill that up a lot of pigs now while I'm on this kind of central section actually I might do that bit now while I'm on this central section we'll get to the silo just here which is almost kind of central on the map you've got this other large expanse gated area um, this has got another couple of um, bunker silos which are just here and you've got seed refill points and this is where your silo is so silos on this map 100,000 litres capacity but I suppose because you've got quite a lot of big open area here you could probably place I assume you can place some more um, silos next to it the in-game ones and your own ones I suppose out in the grass or whether it will let you place one here I'm not entirely sure but it's kind of like almost another farm area you could make this into a, a middle farm if you wanted to add some more sheds and things like that um, but it's quite a big expanse here and the weird thing is on the map it's not really labelled it's just a, a kind of grey concrete bit in the middle of the map so yeah this is where you, you've got some seed refill points and your silos and yeah I'm not sure why it's not marked on the map but there you go that's right in the centre of the map so heading north out of here I'm just going to whiz very quickly up to the livestock market so I don't forget it and then I can just concentrate on around the outside of the map so whizzing up here it's the main track up we've got another cell point just here that's for your manure just there zoom in a little bit so you can see just there and if we turn in here again there's not really much to kind of give the game away here we've got a little building here a little old it looks kind of almost old french kind of colonial type thing got a few little steps up here with your egg cell point very nice and um, this building here is your livestock market there's not really anything to give the game away there's no sign it looks like a bit of a kind of looks like a bit of a dilapidated building really a bit of unkempt kind of thing but anyway there's your hazard box step in here and this is your livestock market um, all your animals if you've got a trailer you want to come and get them from here this is where you're going to do it a very unassuming building you wouldn't necessarily know it's interesting how map makers do things differently having gone from alien gym spectacle island where everything is signposted and very very clearly signposted to onto maps where there aren't any signs at all there's not really anything then you've got your map makers that kind of put a, a, a mix you know there are some signposts but not too many it's it's you know i don't know I just find it fascinating the whole concept uh, anyway right back out to the outside edge of the map and we'll finish off the tour around the last bits that we need to get to so bear with me a second I will see you on the outer loop of the map and here we are heading south again massive field on the left hand side field five that is huge Oh, nice thing we get to go in there. Let's turn down here. This is the second placeable area. Is it the placeable area? I think it is. It is. And again, 122,000 for a placeable area. I'm not sure whether it will allow you to put any placeables on these grass patches in between. It might kind of be a cheaper option. But, again nice little area I believe I'm trying to think what did I see here when I drove past last time we've got that's it 
if you buy this one you've got access to these little mini bunker silos which I don't think I've ever come across really in game like these just these little concrete sections put in here let me just check that yep fill level chaff so they are nice little bunk silos now I don't know if you can access those if you don't buy this if you can a couple of extra silos there right back to the pickup so we're heading south again a few more sale points to do which I just need to whoop, mind the bumps in the road fit in another nice little pond area to the right hand side there we are now at the southwestern corner of the map here we have a sale point for straw and hay and bales there you go, getting rid of straw and hay just here and another sale point up here up the ramp and that is let's get this right oh that's the power oil one so this is the power oil sell point this is the sell point for your oil seed rape and your sunflowers this is where you bring them to again very unassuming because it's the power oil thing you think there'd be you know signs up and you know introducing the fact it's very unassuming it's just understated it's there that's where you sell your power oil crops so moving on again past another very large field field 10 so when you look at the, the main map originally you think oh there's only you know, 14 fields not very big it's not a, but they are big fields I think I was probably a little bit more excited with New Bartelshagen because it was based on a, a real place and when I found it online and had a look on Google Earth and that kind of thing I don't know why to me that just seemed quite you know quite a cool thing and this may be the perfect map for you you may look at it and think you know what it's everything I have been looking for so more woodland left hand side there is no shortage of forestry if you like doing a bit of forestry there is plenty on this map lots to do so we're now coming up the eastern side of the map again we come right across the bottom and just to our right here it's probably the largest expanse of woodland there is in the map running up this side but we need to turn in here to the last of the cell points we're going to go to so the first just here is your slurry cell point just going around the corner here we've got a couple of large bunker silos and another floor mounted anaerobic digester Again, I'm making the assumption, I haven't tried it out, that you can tip into this. Um, uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to drop bales into it. I would like to think so, but I, I honestly couldn't say for definite. But the fact it's positioned like this and you can back up to it, I would imagine you'll be able to tip into that. Again, could be wrong, you may still may need shovels. But you've got two, they are fair size actually silos, these ones here. So you're going to get a fair amount of chaff in those. And then round the corner got the two digestate tanks here but the digestate tank we're interested in is the one here that's the one that's going to give us our digestate when we sell our silage and then we get our byproduct so that's just there carrying on through this whole section where there's a few sell points we come to our I say sawmill it's kind of yeah I mean it's, it's your wood chip and your wood cell point I assume oh, I say I assume the, cube, the crane works there's normally a button you can press to get into it but I don't know I don't know this one is just here for show I believe okay I don't use the cranes very often but it doesn't seem to be unless I've again I might have missed something but um, so I think if I'm right wood chip cell point just here log cell point just here that would make sense yeah it's quite a long one so I would imagine that is and the fact there are logs here probably a bit of a giveaway 
so that's your sawmill-esque uh, wood chip and lumber cell point I think I think I think that's all the cell points let's just double check on the main map just making sure I've done anything we went all the way around we started with the shop we looked at the cows we passed the chickens wool placeable cell point uh, root crops and main cell point just there we went into the middle to the livestock market manure cell point pigs sheep placeable cell point power oil uh, grass and straw cell point we've done all the ones down this side down the bottom slurry side cell point woods and lumber yeah that's it I think we've been around pretty much everything right what I'm going to do is head back out this way we'll head back up to the farm and that will be pretty much it for this first look map tour for Pom and Rugen nice size map nice and flat very open easy to get machinery around plenty of woodland if you want to do wood chipping logging lumber if that's your thing if you like using big machinery you've got plenty of open space to run it off either end and um, it's a nice map it's a good map I do like the, the big grass areas it's in that respect it's good because it's got it gives you plenty of options if you decide you want to plow out a new field you've got a big space here you can plow out if you want to extend that field once you bought it I mean you can have a massive field cut down some of the trees that are in the way and you can have yeah quite a large area but if you're into baling and straw and hay and animals you're not going to have any problem producing enough grass and hay um, to feed your animals so there's there's enough to do to keep you going bit of everything enough that's different to keep it interesting not bad at all head back to the main farm back into the main yard and that is pretty much it I dare say someone will mention something I've missed and I'll kick myself and think how did you miss that how could you have been so stupid um, but it does happen every now and again I am fallible I am human and I do make mistakes but that's it that's the end of this first look map tour on Volpommen Rugen by Atsa VR. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.